Hi everyone, welcome back again. You are with Dr. Gomati and we are in learning of Business Central Functional Consultant 101 Mastering the Essentials. We are in module 2. And if you have missed the previous module content, please check that in the playlist. And now we are going to explore these three concepts that is managing personal settings and preferences in my settings, accessing help resources and getting assistance in Business Central, taking a guide tour of Business Central for familiarization. And this will take at least 10 minutes to explain. So I'll be handling this in a different video. Let us start. So the first one is my settings. Okay. So on the right side of your uh, uh, business central page, you can see a settings icon. This is a gear icon where you can click here and you can see settings. In that settings, you have various options. We are going to explore the my settings option now. So what you can do is click on this my settings where you can see the basic settings of business central. The changes that you make will only affect your workspace, not the workspaces of other business central users. Okay, this is your settings only. Okay, so you can change the role center, company, work date, region, language, time zone, notification, and cloud storage fields on the My Settings page. So here you can see this is what the role, what is the role of your, okay, so business central manager. So here you can change, so this is the company, this is the work date. If you wanted to change this work date and click done, it will be changed. Okay, and this is the language, region, language, time zone, notification, teaching tips. This should be enabled so that you will get the teaching tips whenever you are opening any new uh, pages. So I'll show you this teaching tip. So don't worry. And if you want to change this to some other storage device, then you can click here and it will validate the tribe. Okay, if you have any other thing. Okay. Okay, so this is since it's a, a trial version, so you can I cannot show you like what is happening here. You can check it in your thing. Okay, so this is what, and here the here you can see this is role center. Let us understand about everything. So this is a, a role. The role center represents the home page of the starting screen that is designed for the needs of a specific role in an organization. Okay, so. And depending on your role, the role center gives your overview of the business, your department or your personal task. This also helps you to go to your daily tasks and find work that is assigned to you. So you can change this. Basically, if you just click here, let us just uh, click here and try to change it. So here you can see by default, it's in a business manager role, but you can select any other role as well. So in order to change this, you can go to here, go here and click this account and, and click OK. So your role center will also be updated here. OK, so based on the role, you will be seeing the role center page. So it is launching. So this is the very first options in my settings. Okay. So here you can see it, it is totally changed, right? So in the previous one, you have seen a different one, different role center, but here you are seeing a different role center. So this is the one. So next one is what go to the settings and click the my settings. We are talking about the my setting. This is the company. Okay. So you can administer and automate multiple companies in a business central. A company is a legal entity and functions as a container for data in Business Central. So you can uh, have multiple companies in a database. For example, if you click on these three dots, you can see that the other companies are also created here. OK, so uh, if you want to change the company, just click here. And if you click on any other thing which is already created. So if you click on my company and if you click OK, then this will also be updated by default. It is in Cronus, right? So now it will be changed to my company. Okay, this is how you can change your company. You can have multiple companies as well in my settings page. Okay, so this is about your company. Okay, you have changed the company here. So you can see where you can see the company name. So here you can see the company name. Previously it shows like Cronus and now it shows like a company. Okay, I will tell you how to create a new company in an uh, upcoming video, so don't worry. Now, let us go to my settings and see work date. The work date is the date that Business Central will be used as a default date for transactions. The default work date is usually today's date. Okay, so 
uh, today's date, you might have to temporarily change the work date to be able to perform a task such as completing transactions for a date that isn't the current date. For example, in January, you want to enter the post general uh, uh, lines in uh, post and post the general lines in the December of last year. Then by changing the work date to December 31 last year, so you can change this work date. Okay, so you can change this to December uh, last year, December 31 or 30. So this will be changed. Okay, so after you change the work date, if you sign out or switch to another company, the work date reverts to the default work date. So consequently, the next time that you sign in or uh, switch back to the original company, you might have to set the work date again. You have to set the work date. So the next one is the region. So we are talking about all these things. Region setting determines how dates, times, numbers and currencies are shown or as formatted. So here you can see based on the time zone, based on everything, the region will be updated. Okay. Uh, language. So this is a language. Uh, you can select the language field to change and display the language. For example, if I am selecting here something else like uh, French or uh, okay, uh, French. Okay and click OK. So where you can see that there will be change in the language. Okay. So this is what like uh, our basic settings in your mobile phone. I hope we all might be using the mobile phones, right? So you can see the uh, it, it also depends on uh, the various factors like what see here so on the right side, you can see it has changed to French. Okay, like you can see the parameters, everything is changed. So let us go and change again uh, to English. So let us go and change here English and United States and click OK. Then it will be changed to English. OK, the next one is the time zone. So time zone that you work in, OK, where you are in. OK, uh, so uh, based on that, the time zone will be reflected. So you can see here in the my settings, you can see the time zone. OK. So if you want to change, you can also change that. Okay. And the next one is the notification. So you have to select the notification link to view or change the notification that you get about certain events or changes in the status for a change receive. See confirm marking booking is invoiced. So if you want to show any notification, so everything is enabled by default. If you want to disable anything, you can disable that as well. Next one is the teaching tip. I'll show you what is teaching tip which specifies whether display short message that inform or remind you or teach you about important fields and actions when you open a page. Okay. This can be useful for users that are new to Business Central. And finally, this is the cloud storage, which specifies a link to explore Business Central folder in OneDrive. Okay, you can select this if you have a proper uh, uh, licensed account, then you can definitely make use of it. So let us go to the next one, which is the topic is like um, taking guide tour. This is what the teaching tip, okay? Taking a guided tour of Business Central for familiarization. So how can you take a guiding tour? Okay, sorry. Accessing help resources and getting assistance in Business Central. I'm sorry. So this is the next one. How you can access the help, okay? So it's very simple. In Business Central help menu, you have an option called help okay this is a question mark okay so you can click that question mark where it will open a help topics to you okay if you wanted to this is a help pane uh, basically we will call this as a help pane okay this is a help pane but if you wanted to get any help about anything you can get it okay if you wanted to go and search here you can also search here by default, they'll be describing some about the task being related resource for Microsoft from Microsoft Learn and other sources to help. So uh, these uh, are that is a related article, any other resources which you need and everything will be available here. OK, so from the help pane, you can find the help and support, which is very, very important. OK. Uh, page which is uh, which is in the business central page itself okay you can also see how to contact the technical support through this help and support let us just click here uh, click help and support where it will show you how to contact okay everything give a feedback troubleshoot or if you want to report a problem everything they'll be uh, giving you in detail about uh, whom to contact with and what are the feedbacks if you want to do so this help and support uh, support page outlines uh, the following lists like um, uh, finding the answer, community, talking with the community. So here you can see 
you can see that you can talk to the community okay you can find the answers to the capabilities which are coming soon you can also see what are the capabilities which will be available soon if you can give the feedback you can troubleshoot okay you can troubleshoot here you can see there is a troubleshoot option here if you wanted to report a problem you can also report a problem based on your assure id and tenant id you can get the contacts you can know about the blogs and everything okay so this is about a help pane and you can also um you can also uh, see some important thing in the help pane okay so here you can see various other option like inspect pages and data view the lost known error analyze the performance enabling about the logging so all these things and importantly this inspect pages we will understand it later okay and for troubleshooting details you can also get the data for this troubleshooting okay view the last known error if you click on the last known error you can see because since we don't have the we don't have any error so far so it is not showing anything you can just go and check if you find any last known error here okay this is about the helping and finally to understand that the teaching tip okay as we saw in the my settings page as well you have a teaching tip so how to see how uh, where we can enable the teaching tip where we can see the teaching tip so it is available anywhere for example just i'm just going to click here finance okay here you can see this is a, a page of finance if you click on the finance it will show you various other options as well so here i'm just going to click here the chart of accounts okay once i try to launch the chart of accounts so on the down you can see about the chart of accounts so this is what the teaching tip because since we have enabled the teaching tip it is showing you that take a tour okay the chart of account page shows the about the chart of accounts tour the bottom left part of the page it starts with describing it starts with describing what this page actually shows and you can start the tour by selecting a take to okay it will it is telling you what this page is all about and you can see what is there okay so this is the net change what is behind the number okay so the next tip it will take you to the tour about the net change it continues to describe the structure if you click on next it will tell you what is this okay account sub category group of accounts into the category and what is the review entries here and get the financial overview so everything it will tell you step by step and even if you wanted to click on click here to show the help it will show you the help regarding this is managing personal settings taking the guide and help content and resources so in the next video we'll be exploring about the types of pages in the business central user interface and if time permits we'll also discuss about the role explorer in the next video itself or else we will make it as a separate one if you have any queries please leave that in the comment section and explore